preaching the gospel. So, Forty, forty years he has been discerning and avoiding each and every trend and trajectory Al drew our attention to last night. Doing it for forty years. Forty years he's been teaching and modeling and defending and celebrating complementarians for forty years. Forty years he's been leading his church in the practice of church discipline. For forty years he has been building a thriving local church. He's been doing this. This been doing this for forty years doing this for 40 years in Los Angeles. And I'm saying that there's only one appropriate response. <laughs> uh, you have my deepest respect, sir. Now, I'm going to read something if I could briefly, very briefly, almost done. Uh, I was asked, I was asked to participate. I was so honored when you were honored last year for 40 years. And so this is what I want. What immediately comes to mind when I think of John MacArthur? Faithfulness. Forty years. Just think of all the men and movements that were born, popularized, and then declined and disappeared over those forty years. Wait for the dust kicked up by momentary fads to clear, and there's John, unshaken by the trends, and standing firm on the unchanging Word of God. Throughout four decades, John has been building deliberately, equipping generation after generation as he preaches week by week and verse by verse, equipping pastors, writing books, and commentaries, leading carefully, building slowly, and creating a legacy that will endure beyond his lifetime. So it is most appropriate for us, who are applause, to express our gratefulness for this man and his compelling example of the difference he has made in church broadly and our lives individually. Eternal reward. 